mightier than the sword. The pen, the pen, the pen. The key, the key. Keep it close. Keep it safe. Bring help. Don't get caught. Save the kingdom, get the girl. Save the kingdom, get the girl. Save the kingdom, get the girl. Um, uh, miss? Nurse? I... Oh, hi there. Goodness. <laughs> you startled me. You could have just knocked. And it's doctor, actually? Dr. Emma Brown? I'm a little embarrassed to say, but we don't have any files on you, so I don't even know your name. I... It's Joe, ma'am. Oh, call me Emma. We're not so formal here. It's nice to meet you, Joe. I'm sorry, Dr. Brown. I don't know how to say this, but you, everyone here, is in serious danger. I'm very sick, and it's very important you call the authorities and- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy. Deep breaths. There's nothing to be afraid of. How do you feel? I... Okay, I guess. A little sore. See, you're fine. And the soreness is to be expected. You've undergone muscle therapy. You've been asleep for at least three decades, after all. Maybe even more. What? Where am I? What year is this? Easy, Joe. I know it's a lot to take in. It'd be a shock to anyone's system. Haven't been under for as long as you have. It's 2012, and this is the psychiatric ward at St. Genevieve's Hospital. You were brought out of hibernation five weeks ago. Like the others... You were placed in an artificial coma for regenerative muscle therapy and brought here for evaluation and rehab after everything checked out. Oh, God. The tubes. You have to listen to me, Doctor. I I'm dangerously sick. I was carrying something when, when, when I got in. I oh, <laughs> that? Well, that's true. You did all have some kind of flu. Actually, the resident physician did find it peculiar how you had all contracted a type of avian flu that only first appeared in the late 90s, and a new strain at that. In any case, the pathogen was largely dormant due to the extended hibernation. We run very thorough medical checks on all our cryo clients, so we gave you all a shot of our regular cocktail. Cleared it right up before you even came to. So it's... gone? But Archon... Yes, I'm afraid I don't know much about all of that. All I know is that the company that froze you went bankrupt back in the early 70s. A victim of industrial sabotage, I think. Anywho, the remaining assets were sold off, and the Cryoform company bought the cryogenics technology. As per ethical requirements, that included all of you who were frozen there. We've been helping rehabilitate Cryoform's clients for the past five years or so, Mostly folks suffering from previously incurable terminal illnesses and heavy wallets. But you didn't hear that from me, hmm? Unfortunately, cryogenics was a little... experimental when you went under. So, while the company's been freezing and reviving clients for quite some time, you had to stay confined to the original equipment. Apparently, a lot of Archon's original documentation was destroyed in a fire. So Cryoform had practically no information on any of you. That's another reason it took so long to figure out how to revive you. Sadly, the others haven't been quite as coherent. They share certain delusions, you know, end of the world, that sort of thing. An unfortunate side effect of Cryogenic's primitive state at the time, I suspect. You, however, seem just fine. Apart from the shock, I mean. So... So I'm not sick? You sure? <laughs> yes, Joe, quite sure. In fact, I see no reason to keep you here. We have an excellent rehabilitation team who'll get you settled into your new life in no time. Just come see me when you're ready to go.
so? Are we all ready to go? I guess. Oh, don't worry. The rehab team's eager to help get you settled in. I know it may feel a little overwhelming now, but trust me, you'll love it in 2012. Endless opportunities. A whole new lease on life. Speaking of, I happened to catch you on the surveillance monitors a little while ago, and you seem to show excellent problem-solving skills. You like puzzles, Joe? I... Perfect. I'll be sure to mention it to the career coaches. They'll find just the right thing for you. Thank you. 